Hey everyone, Brandcoin here for another episode of Brandcoin Mining. And today we're going to be doing a review of this MSI RX 5700 uh, mining review and seeing the performance and power consumption and all that good stuff. And we're also going to be doing the first of our Antminer Z9 giveaways. So we're going to be having all the details and no, it's not too late. You guys can actually still enter for the next one. So without any further ado, guys, uh, let's run that intro. everyone welcome back for another episode of brand coin mining and today as we were saying earlier we're going to be taking a look and doing a mining review of the amd rx 5700 card and we're going to be taking a look at the power consumption hash rate i'm getting the energy efficiency and all the settings so uh, we're also going to be doing what i'm very excited for our first giveaway of the amp miner z9 minis by bitmain and we're going to be giving away two of these miners. So we're going to be giving away one of them in this episode. So it's actually not too late still to enter for the next uh, giveaway. And you could do so by sub firstly subscribing to the Brandcoin channel and entering in the comments of this video down below, hashtag z 9 many And uh, you'll also be entered uh, for uh, the next giveaway as well. So don't worry, guys. Uh, we're gonna, that'll be coming soon. So uh, let's go take a look at our graphics card. So here we go. We have our test mining rig uh, system going and we've got our MSI Evoke Gold RX 5700 and it's not mining right now. I just want to do a, a nice comparison test, uh, see how much the system is pulling right now. So it's only pulling about 40 watts uh, when the system is going, I've seen it pull about 50 watts. Uh, we can take an average about 45 watts. That's what the system pulls here. It goes 43, 50, 44. I would take an average about 45 watts, uh, the system, uh, for the system itself. And we'll see how much this graphics card pulls while mining, approximately. And, uh, I'm using an Asus Prime Z390 motherboard, and this is just the motherboard I found uh, for this test rig online at the time, and I'll be putting some links down below for some Amazon links uh, for the best mining motherboards to buy today if I were to buy one right now and some RAM and CPUs and basically all the latest stuff now today if I were building a new mining rig. And here we're also using a uh, Thermaltake Smart 700 watt power supply uh, to power this rig. And I just got the one card on here because we were testing and doing some tests on it. So here, let's start it up mining. And I'm using Team Red Miner. Let's start our Ethereum Miner. And here we go, we're gonna start up. So let's check our power. Oh, it's already going up quite a bit. Uh, 81 watts, 80 watts here. And uh, we'll see. Oh yeah, the rig is starting up. And oh yeah, power going up 204 watts, 205 watts already. So we're gonna be uh, watching this. And oh yeah, there you go. Your fans are spinning on your um, graphics card now. And uh, let's go see the results. Oh, here we go. So that's just the initial ramp up. Uh, how, how many mega hash? It's getting 26.09 mega hash. Uh, right out the bat, but I mean that's very very low. The Juke graphics card is still ramping up, so we're going to see uh, what this guy could do shortly. Still getting about 205 watts for the entire system right now. And let's see, oh yeah, there we go. Now we're getting about 49.22 mega hash. 
and this is where uh, the graphics card ends up sitting uh, and doesn't really stay, doesn't go any higher without uh, modifying our um, memory and clock settings. So here we go, it says GPU zero tuning complete. Let's see if we can get any more mega hash out of this card before um, starting an MSI afterburner. Now, yeah, 49.72, and that's about the max we're gonna get without modifying anything. And here, we'll just get rid of this here. And we'll open our MSI afterburner. And I've already set, and I'll be putting them also in the link in the description down below, uh, the overclocks. I've saved them as my profile number one. So the stock clocks are 1750 for the core clock and 1750 for the memory. So for the settings I'm using here, they are 1301 for the core clock and 1800 for the memory clock. And we're gonna press check mark and apply the settings. And now we're gonna go see how this affects everything. So yeah, we're getting about 49.69 mega hash before. And now let's go see our power consumption. So power consumption has dropped about seven watts, well, five, six, seven watts, call it about five watts. So we really haven't dropped too much in power, but let's check out our mega hash. They are going up now we're at 50.44 and we were at 49.7. So it's starting to go up just a little bit here. And let's just wait and see what they come to. 51.06. It's not bad. Up a tiny bit. Power consumption down a tiny bit. That's really all, all I'm going to be getting out of this card without uh, going any further and uh, modifying BIOS or anything like that. This is, this is the stock BIOS doing about 51 mega hash. And I consider that actually very, very good. That's about the same mega hash as an RTX 3060 uh, using the special drivers, um, the special drivers that uh, Nvidia released for the developer drivers. So I mean, that's uh, that's excellent hash rate for this GPU. Really coming close to the 60 mega hash that people are getting out of uh, 3060 Ti's and 3070's is not too far away. And if you can get this card at a significant discount versus like a 3070 or a RTX 3060 Ti, I definitely, definitely recommend it. It's a gorgeous looking card. It's a very thick looking card here. And uh, very reliable and consistent. Getting that 51 mega hash. So in conclusion here, uh, getting about, we'll call it 200 watts here for the whole system. I know it's a little bit less right here, but we'll just call it 200 to make our lives simple. Uh, so if the system with the card is pulling 200 and without it is pull, uh, the system is only using about 45 watts, we're getting about 155 watts for 51 mega hash. And uh, that seems uh, pretty good to me right now. And I just want to let you know, guys, that I have had this card doing nearly 54 mega hash, but I had to uh, down uh, clock the memory a little bit because I was experiencing some uh, random crashes every week. So I rather have this uh, system running very like consistently uh, for consistent profits uh, versus having it uh, shut down once in a while and make me zero dollars. So now we'll take a look at the current profitability of the RX 5700. And I'm just over here on CryptoCompare.com, which is a mining calculator. And we're on Ethereum. And we're gonna enter our mega hash so that it would be 51 mega hash we're getting out of the card. And we're putting the power consumption at 155 watts. And a lot of people have a 10 cent electric, especially in the US. So we're gonna leave it at 10 cents for this example. So it's currently profiting after paying the electric $3.04 a day or $91.08 a month or $1,108 a year. And that's after paying the electric, which should come to about $11.16 a month. And now we're just gonna um, 
convert to Canadian to compare for our Canadian uh, uh, viewers here. And basically, uh, the card without paying any electric is profiting $102.24 US a month. So we're gonna take out our uh, Trustly calculator here. Here, we're just gonna type in a calculator. There we go. And uh, we're gonna convert 102.24 US into Canadian at a 25% uh, exchange rate. Gives us about 127 and 80 cents a month. And here, then we're gonna go calculate our uh, power consumption for the card. So 155 watts. Uh, 24 hours a day and we're gonna calculate so at a seven cent Canadian electric cost uh, that's only seven dollars and eight and 81 cents per month so we'll take we'll go back here and uh, remove seven dollars and uh, 81 cents and this thing is doing about $120 a month, $119.99 currently. And uh, that's actually really good for a graphics card this old. Uh, that's incredible. Now let's say we wanted to purchase an RX 5700 in today's graphics card market. I think they will be sold out at every uh, major retailer. They've been sold out for a long time and they have uh, not produced any more because they've come out with their new 6000 line series. So uh, if you wanna find a used example, you can go over to eBay, for example, and type in RX 5700, and we can check on eBay.com how much they are uh, selling for. And this one has about six hours left, selling for $760 US plus uh, $57 shipping. And uh, here's another one selling for $877 US with $20 shipping. And you know, you'll find different prices and varieties, but. Uh, that's not a bad deal actually a uh, 760 for an rx 5700 especially since the thing is going to be profiting over a hundred dollars a month basically uh or about 90 dollars us if you live in the united states so uh, i mean this is actually a pretty quick return on investment if you could still pick these up second hand uh, I think it's still a really great buy, especially in today's market. I mean, you don't want to be paying $1,200 US for your card. That would not be a good deal, but uh, maybe, or $1,800, $1, you know, people can ask crazy things. But then again, here's someone more reasonably, uh, only wants $1,000 buy it now, or its starting bid is at 571, so you could start bidding on this. Doesn't mean you're gonna win the, the auction, but it, you have a chance to win, or you could just buy it outright for a thousand bucks. So I mean, there are still interesting deals to be had. Oh, here's one, $900 for a Sapphire Nitro uh, 5700. Yeah, I really like this card. And I mean, it's still possible, even in today's market, to buy a graphics card and hopefully uh, mine some Ethereum on it until they change over to Ethereum 2.0 and recoup a lot of that investment. Uh, it may still be possible here at the very end of 2021 going into 2022. Um, and then eventually, let's say Ethereum actually does make the move and it's no longer possible to mine Ethereum, uh, it's quite likely that you will be able to mine another coin. And yes, it won't be profitable. Your profitability might be split it by 50% or so, but still not a bad deal. So we've just flipped our camera here and now we are in my mining layer, my uh, small mining office here. And uh, we're gonna go over here because we've got something special going on here today. And here we go, guys. We have everyone who has entered the contest, everybody's names all cut out on little pieces of paper. And there is one problem here, Mr. Zone. I don't know if you can see that one is marked in pen because there was a mistake. I accidentally deleted your comment. Don't worry, you've been entered into the contest and we'll have to discuss further if you win. But uh, I, I tried to enter everyone possible who wanted to enter and I, uh, I did a big job here. I cut everything out and I tried to even make each uh, name tag the same length so nobody has a uh, better chance because their piece of paper is any larger than anyone else. We tried to make this as fair as possible for everyone to give them a chance to win. And we're gonna be putting everybody's names. I have over here a, a graphics card, empty graphics card bag. Uh, we're gonna be putting everyone's names in there and we're gonna be uh, drawing. So 
This is sort of be hard. I'm going to have to do this one handed. I didn't want to have any cuts on this part. We're going to open up the bag here. Okay. And we're going to put everybody's name in. Here we go. We're going to gather up everybody's name. We're going to put them all in a pile in any order. And we're going to be putting them in the bag. So good luck to everyone. I'm really excited. I was stuffing these names in here. This is difficult to do, but we're getting them some names in here. Can everybody see? There they go. Okay, we're gonna get them in the bag here. <laughs> All right. Okay, one-handed, working here. Put them all in. And we're gonna have a very, very nice giveaway. And again, as I was saying at the beginning of the video, don't worry if you guys haven't uh, entered or forgot to enter. There is still one more of these that I'm gonna be giving away in a future video. So you guys can actually still, even on this video, go ahead and enter uh, hashtag AntminerZ9Mini in the comments below and be a subscriber to the Brandcoin channel. And oh, a couple of them dropped here. I'll have to pick them up. Here we go. Okay. And uh, you can still enter in for the next giveaway. So here we go. We have quite a few people entered. I think it was about 146 different entries. We're just going to mix them up. I'll get a little bit in the bag. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous for everybody here. I have so many people here and I, I, w I want everyone to win in a way, but we can only pick one winner. So here we're going to do it. We're going to be picking a winner now. So congratulations, Stake Crypto Mining. You have won. You have won an AppMiner Z9 Mini, and you can overclock this thing to f almost 14,000 uh, hashes on the EchoHash algorithm. So uh, congratulations. Uh, get in touch with me. Go check my email down in my contact info section, or, uh, or you could reply to me, and we're going to get in touch, and I'm going to ship you out that miner. So congratulations, Stake Crypto Mining. And good luck for everyone for the next giveaway. We're going to be keeping everybody in here who entered. You're still going to have a chance at the next giveaway. We're going to keep this uh, bag. Uh, but we're still accepting new entries until we do that giveaway. So thanks everyone for watching Brandcoin today, everyone. And we'll see you all soon in the next episode.